Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're looking at the Select Manager mod for Roll20. Alright, so let's set the stage here. Our party has tracked down this cult of gnolls out in the woods, and the gnolls are currently conducting a profane ritual that centers around this cursed brazier. While the brazier is burning, it grants certain boons to the gnolls in the area, and one of those boons would be that on initiative count 20, each gnoll regenerates 5 hit points. Now, on initiative count 20, there's no way for me to select all the gnolls all at once and restore 5 hit points to them. I would need to click on each one of them individually and add 5 hit points back. And you can see I've got 5 or 6 gnolls on the board here, that's going to take me a minute to go through and do. And we don't want to slow down combat, we want to be able to quickly restore all the hit points to all the gnolls all at once. But I can't select all the gnolls in the UI. I can grab them one by one, or if I do a lasso select, you see that I'm going to grab the hyenas here as well. So what Select Manager is going to allow us to do is provide a set of criteria that will allow us to programmatically select tokens. So we'll be able to say, just select the gnolls on the battlefield and restore five hit points to them. Now, in order to do this, we're going to use mods, and because we're using mods, you're going to need a pro account to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So this Cursed Brazier is actually going to grant the gnolls three different boons. The first will be the hit point regeneration, so they recover five hit points at the start of each round. Second, it will allow the gnoll leader to transfer half of the damage he takes to one of his minions. And finally, it will also grant each of the gnolls the ability to summon in an imp to assist them in battle. So, let's see how we go about setting those up. So the first thing we need to do is install some mods, and the first mod that we need to install is called Token Mod. Token Mod comes to us from the Aaron, and we're going to use Token Mod to restore the hit points to the gnolls at the start of each round, and we'll also use it when the gnoll leader transfers half of the damage he takes to one of his minions. The other mod that we're going to use is Spawn Default Token, which comes to us from David M, and we're going to use that when the gnolls summon in their imps. And then finally, there's the mod of the hour, which is Select Manager, which comes to us from Timaw and the Aaron, and this is what we're talking about today, this is what's going to allow us to programmatically select those tokens that we want to restore hit points to or that we want to do summons. Once those are installed, we'll jump back into our game and start coding. All right, so let's swing our trusty notepad window over here and we'll scroll in so we can see more of the gnolls at once. And let's start out with restoring the hit points to the gnolls. So on initiative count 20, they each recover five hit points. So that can be done with a token mod command that looks like this. So here what we're saying is we're calling token mod and we are setting the bar one value of the selected tokens, which is their hit points. And what we're doing is we're saying whatever value that they have there, increase it by five. So plus five means we're adding five to the current bar value. This exclamation point means that we will not exceed the maximum hit points that the null can have. So we're recovering five hit points. If the null is currently at 21 out of 22 hit points, it will not jump them up to 26 out of 22 hit points. It would jump them to their maximum and call it good. So this will keep us from exceeding the null's maximum HP. And if I run this right now, if I just copy this and I select one of the nulls right here and I run this, we see that works successfully awesome but we want to apply this to all the gnolls at once so what we're going to do is add a little bit to the end of this command and what we're going to say here is and select null and so this is select manager working in conjunction with token mod token mod will run this command on whatever tokens are selected so select manager is saying hey the selected tokens that you're going to run against are all the ones that start with null. So the wild card here means that we're selecting every null on the battlefield. If we didn't have the wild card, we'd only be selecting the first null that the command found. And one other thing to mention is that this is case sensitive. So when you use the select command, make sure that if your nulls have capital G's in their name, that you use a capital G. If I tried to do this with a lowercase g, the command would not work properly. So we're gonna say all the nulls, are going to have their hit points increased by five, not to exceed the maximum hit points that they have. So let's go ahead, let's run this. And you'll notice now I don't have any nulls selected. Gonna run this command. 
And there we go. We see that the hit points went up by five for all of the gnolls, except for this one who was already at 20 hit points and so only recovered two. So this is working exactly as we expected. And now on initiative count 20, it's going to be really easy for us to have this cursed brazier restore the hit points to all the gnolls. But now let's take this a step further. Let's say that our cursed brazier won't restore hit points to a knoll that's already at zero HP. Well, we can modify our select manager criteria to only include knolls who have hit points greater than zero. Let's see how. So we're just going to modify our select manager command here. We're going to put in a comma to say that we're adding a piece of criteria. And then the criteria we're going to include is this plus bar one greater than zero. So what we're saying here is find me all the knolls who have a bar one value greater than zero. That is, they have more than zero HP. So let's go ahead, let's set this one here to have zero HP, and I'll drop this guy down a little bit as well, just so that we've got something to look at. Okay, so we have a null with zero HP, we have a null who's injured. Let's go ahead, let's run our command. And when we run this, we can see that this null recovered five hit points, but this one who had zero HP did not. But let's take this a step further. Let's say that if the Knoll takes Radiant damage, they don't regenerate hit points either. So if my Cleric Jayla here hits this Knoll with Sacred Flame, we don't want that Knoll to recover hit points at the start of the next round. So what I'm going to do is we'll reduce that Knoll's hit points by a Sacred Flame-ish amount. Let's say they lost 4 HP there. And then I'm also going to put a marker on this Knoll. In this case, I'll use Yellow to indicate that they've taken Radiant damage. So now what I can do is modify my select manager line here like this. I can say minus yellow, which is the name of that token marker. So effectively what we're saying here is this command will only be run on nulls who have more than zero hit points and who do not have the yellow marker assigned to them. So the minus sign here is saying exclude nulls that have the yellow marker on them. All right, so let's try this out. We see we've got one Knoll who has taken Radiant Damage and is not at full hit points. We've got one Knoll who's at zero HP and one Knoll who's injured but has not taken any Radiant Damage. So if I run this now, we see that this Knoll who was injured but hadn't taken Radiant Damage recovered hit points. The one at zero HP did not recover any and the one that had the Radiant Damage marker on it did not recover any hit points either. So now what I can do is I can take this line, I can make it into a macro, and then on initiative count 20, every round, I can run that macro, and all of the gnolls who aren't dead and who didn't take radiant damage will automatically recover five hit points. So let's talk about the next power that this cursed cauldron grants the gnolls, and that's the ability for the gnoll leader to transfer half the damage he takes to one of his minions. Now, I could come in here and if, say, my uh, war leader had been dealt 10 points of damage, I could say, okay, we're going to say minus 5 here, and then we're going to transfer the damage to this guy over here, minus 5. But that, again, is multiple clicks, and that slows combat down. So what we're going to be able to do is use Select Manager and Token Mod again to automatically divide the damage between the two nulls. Now, the first step in this process is going to be to create a new token mod command that looks something like this. And basically what we're saying here is we're calling token mod, we're setting bar one value again, but this time we're reducing the hit points in bar one. That's what the minus sign is doing here. And then this bit here is prompting us to enter the amount of damage that the leader would take, and then we're going to divide that damage by two. And this floor bit here, that's rounding down for us. So we don't try to reduce somebody's hit points by three and a half if they took seven damage, for example. So let's try this right now. I'm going to select this null right here. I'm going to run this command, paste. Okay, I get a pop-up saying how much damage are we putting in. And let's say that it was 10 damage that was dealt to the leader. So I put in 10. Our null should have its hit points reduced by half of that, which will be five. Great, that works. But... We also want to reduce the leader's hit points by five as well. And so for that, we're going to use what's called an injection, which looks like this. And let's just get a little bit more real estate on the screen here. And you can think of this as appending a token to the list of selected tokens. So this token mod command is going to run against whichever token is currently selected on the board and will also run on the token that we've injected. So you can think of this as basically saying, do this for whatever token is selected, as well as this token here that we've injected. 
And so the beauty of this now is we can select whichever minion we want to apply half the damage to, and then the damage will be divided between that minion and the null leader. So let's go ahead, let's test that out. We'll just copy this command, we'll run it, paste. Okay, how much damage are we doing? Let's do 10 again. So our null leader should go down to 80, and our null should go down to 17. Submit. And there we go, both of them took the appropriate amount of damage. So now what we can do is take that line of code, turn it into a macro, and then any time the null leader takes damage, we can automatically divide the damage between the leader and one of his minions. Okay, so we've got one more scenario for this cursed brazier, and that is where it allows the nulls to summon imps onto the battlefield. For this one, we're going to use the spawn default token mod, and that's going to look like this, where we say spawn, we're spawning an imp, and what we're going to do is spawn the imp one square to the right, that's what offset one zero means, from the selected token. So if I take this command right now and I highlight this null, what we're going to do is spawn an imp right here. So let's go ahead, let's do that. And there we go, there's our imp. And that's fantastic. The challenge here is that the spawn command will only work with a single token at a time. We can't specify a group of tokens that we want to spawn imps next to. But we can get around that by using a special select manager command called for selected. Let me show you how it works. So what we're going to do here is go into our spawn line and we're going to change this so it says for selected. And then we're going to put in our select manager criteria like we did earlier. And this time around, I'm going to remove the yellow flag here because just because you've taken radiant damage doesn't mean you can't summon an imp, but you do have to be alive in order to summon that imp. So select manager is going to select all the nulls on the battlefield who have more than zero hit points, and then we're going to iterate over those. We're going to go through one at a time, calling the spawn command over and over and over again, one for each null on the battlefield. So now if we take this and we run this line, copy, paste, and go, we see that all the imps have come in for gnolls who have more than zero hit points, and the one who took radiant damage has a little imp buddy as well. Now, you might be thinking, Nick, I could just have a bunch of imps on the GM layer and flip over to the GM layer and reveal them at the appropriate moment. Yeah, absolutely you could, but that would require you to flip over to the GM layer, move the imp token next to the appropriate null token, flip it to the right layer, and then repeat that process for as many nulls as you have on the battlefield. And that flipping and repositioning process is going to add time to combat. This approach ensures that all the imps come in on the appropriate tokens in just a second or so, and that really keeps the game moving, and that's what we're all about. So there you have it. That's how you can use Select Manager to programmatically select tokens in your game and speed up gameplay overall. And incidentally, if you like this little null scenario, the map and a write-up of the Cursed Brazier are available to my patrons, link down in the video description. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.